we are right now at the Schloss Elmau in Bavaria, Germany. I had a concert here yesterday. It's part of me, it's part of my personality to be a concert artist, to be a traveling concert artist. I feel I have a mission to make the audiences fall in love with the viola the same way that I am in love with the viola and with music. My father plays and played the violin, so I asked for my fifth birthday for a violin. And my father played with me for a few months, but then asked me if I wanted to continue, and I said yes. But when I was about nine years old, I heard the Bach cello suites, played on the cello, and I completely fell in love, especially with the first suite in G major, the prelude. So I tried the cello for a day, and it didn't work. Somehow I was not comfortable. But then my violin teacher told me that there is another instrument that has almost the same strings as the cello, C, G, D, A, and you can play the Bach cello suites on them. It's possible. And so I was very tempted and she, my teacher put uh, viola strings on my small violin and I'm sure it did not sound very good but I have to admit this was the defining moment for me especially when I played the low C string its vibration and the feeling and the color of this somehow felt like this was it and I've never looked back I've never wanted to play the violin or the cello instead I always felt convinced that this is me. I've been very lucky for 15 years now to play this magnificent viola by Antonio Stradivari, built in 1672, so 350 years ago. And it is actually the first viola that Stradivari made in Cremona we've been going on a journey together and discovering each other. It was not easy at first because we, I think, have two personalities, but we are now such a, a couple, a duo. We became one and yet we both express each other 